Hi, this is your Master Karen at sa video na to ay matututo kayo on how to find n term of geometric sequence, on how to find geometric mean of geometric sequence, and on how to find sum of finite and infinite geometric sequence. Makinig ng mabuti and enjoy learning. So let's have an example on finding the n term of geometric sequence. What is the seven term of the sequence? 1, 3, 9, 27, and so on. Ang ibig sabihin na ito, hanapin daw natin yung pangpitong term ng sequence na 1, 3, 9, 27, and so on. Therefore, we are finding for A sub 7, yung pangpitong term. So, let's use the formula for finding the nth term of geometric sequence, which is, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So, what is our n? Our n is equal to 7 since ang hinahanap mo is a sub 7. What is our a sub 1? Our a sub 1 is equal to 1 or ang first term natin is 1. Then, what is our ratio? Your R. To find the ratio, A sub 2 divided by A sub 1. Your A sub 2 is equal to 3. And your A sub 1 is equal to 1. Then, 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, your R is equal to 3. So, gagamitin natin itong mga given na to sa ating formula. So, let's try to substitute. Start tayo sa A sub N. What is your N? Your N is equal to 7. Therefore, A sub 7. Then, what is your A sub 1? Your A sub 1 is equal to 1. So, substitute mo lang. Times what is your R or the ratio? So, your ratio is equal to 3. So, times 3. Then, what is your N? Again, your N is equal to 7. So, substitute mo lang, raise to 7, then minus 1. Then, isi-simplify lang natin. Unahin natin si exponent, which is 7 minus 1. So, copy mo lang si 1 times 3, 7 minus 1 is equal to 6. Then, ang susunod natin is simplify is 3 raised to 6. A sub 7 is equal to 1. What is 3 raised to 6? 3 raised to 6 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, times 3 and times 3. 3. So, anin na 3? So, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is equal to 729. Then, last is 1 times 721 is equal to, or 29 is equal to 729. Therefore, your A sub 7 is equal to 729. Let's have another example. So, let's have an example on finding the geometric mean. Insert geometric mean between negative 3 and negative 27. Ibig sabihin na ito, hanapin daw natin yung nasa gitna, negative 3 at negative 27. Isa lang siya kasi geometric mean. Hindi naman siya geometric means. So, how to find the geometric mean of a sequence? So, to find the geometric mean, m is equal to positive square root of a times b or m is equal to negative square root of a times b. Kailan mo gagamitin si positive square root at si negative square root? Gagamitin mo si positive square root a times b if your sequence or yung sequence mo is positive. At gagamitin mo naman si negative square root a times b kapag yung sequence mo is negative. 
since negative 3 at negative 27, therefore, ang gagamitin mo is ito. So, let's try to use the formula. M, which stands for geometric mean, is equal to negative square root of your A is C negative 3 and your B is C negative 27. So, negative 3 times negative 27. Then, i-multiply lang natin yung nasa loob. M is equal to negative square root of negative 3 times negative 27 is positive 81. Then, get the square root of 81. Kakapi mo lang muna si negative. The square root of 18 at 81 is 9. Therefore, your geometric mean is negative 9. So, let's check if tama si negative 9. Let's find the ratio of negative 9 and negative 3, then negative 27 and negative 9. So, we start muna tayo kay negative 9 divided by negative 3. At yung isa naman is negative 27 divided by negative 9. Dapat pareho yung lalabas na sagot. So, your R is equal to negative 9 divided by negative 3 is positive 3. Then, negative 27 divided by negative 9 is positive 3. Kasi parehong negative, parehong negative. So, ang result is parehong positive. Since pareho siyang 3, therefore, the geometric mean negative 9 is correct. Let's have another example. Let's have an example on finding the sum of the finite geometric sequence. So, what is the sum of the first 30 terms of the geometric sequence? 20, negative 20, 20, negative 20, and so on. So, ang ibig sabihin nito, hanapin daw natin yung sum ng unang 30 na terms sa sequence na to. So, let's use the formula to find the sum of the finite geometric sequence. So, we have S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to N over 1 minus R. So, what is our N? Our N is equal to 30. Since ang hinahanap natin is sum of 30 terms. So, N is equal to 30. What is our A sub 1? Our A sub 1, or first term, is 20. Then, what is our R? Our R is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1. Our A sub 2 is equal to negative 20. And our A sub 1 is equal to positive 20. So, negative 20 divided by positive 20 is equal to negative 1. Therefore, your R is equal to negative 1. So, ang mga gagamitin natin is N is equal to 30, A sub 1 is equal to 20, and R is equal to negative 1. So, let's try to substitute doon sa formula. So, S S sub N, your N is equal to 30. Palitan mo siya ng 30. Then, our A sub 1 is equal to 20. Ayun, A sub 1 is equal to 20. Then, times 1 minus, what is our R? Our R is equal to negative 1. Raise to N. Our N is 30. Then, all over 1 minus, what is our R? Our R is negative 1. Next is, is simplify. Copy mo lang si S sub 30. Then, ang una natin is simplify is si negative 1 raised to 30. So, copy mo lang si 20. Copy mo lang si 1. 
The negative 1 raised to 30 is positive 1. Divided by 1 magiging plus magiging positive. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then, S of 30 is equal to 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 0 times 20 is equal to 0. Then, over 2. Then, S of 30 is equal to 0 divided by 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, ang sum ng first 30 terms na sequence na 20, negative 20, 20, negative 20, and so on is 0. Let's have another example. Let's have an example on finding the sum of the infinite geometric sequence. Find the sum to infinity of 1, 1 over 5, 1 over 25, and so on. To find the sum of the infinite geometric sequence, let's use the formula. Sum of the infinite geometric sequence is equal to a sub 1 over 1 minus r. So what is our a sub 1? Our a sub 1 is equal to 1. Since ang first term natin is 1. Then your r is equal to a sub 2 over a sub 1. Or a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. Your a sub 2 is equal to 1 fifth. And your a sub 1 is equal to 1. Therefore, your r is equal to 1 over 5. So, ang mga gagamitin natin is a sub 1 is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 over 5. So, let's try to substitute doon sa formula. Sum of the infinite geometric sequence is equal to your a sub 1 is 1 over 1 minus your r is equal to 1 fifth. Then, simplify. Sum of the infinite geometric sequence is equal to 1 over, what is 1 minus 1 over 5? So, 1 minus 1 over 5 is equal to 4 fifth. Then, next is 1 divided by 4 fifth is 1 divided by 4 fifth. So, si 1, ang denominator niya is automatic 1. Then, get the reciprocal of 4 fifth. The reciprocal of 4 fifth is 5 over 4. Then, si division magiging multiplication. Then, numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator, kapag magmumultiply ng fraction. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 4 is 4. Therefore, 1 divided by 4 over 5 is equal to sum of the infinite geometric sequence is equal to 5 over 4. Thank you. See you on my next video and learn with Master Karen every day. For other topics na gusto nyo pang i-discuss ni Master Karen, just comment down below. Thank you.